The Telangana Board of Intermediate Examination has announced the schedule for 2019-20 that's for class 11 and 12 the end of the last academic year had brought some disturbing developments we had up to 27 students actually commit suicide i have with me uh, uh, the man who is in fact trying to bring in some drastic uh, kind of measures to ensure that we don't have a repeat of what happened last year you have brought in all these lecturers from uh, corporate colleges across the state what is the idea and what are you doing with it our effort is to first of all to appoint student counselors so that these student counselors will be trained by us in uh, psychological concepts to help the students overcome their fear uh, and uh, tension and the fear of exams so that they can appear for the uh, exams confidently and without any stress and uh, if at all any uh, misfortune is there that they fail they will be able to face the life with fortitude you have uh, first trained uh, government college uh, counselors you have actually chosen one person from each college at least who the students find approachable now you are calling in all the private colleges of course the numbers of uh, suicides while not dividing government and non government but yes the numbers were higher in the private colleges perhaps the pressure was higher what do these counselors do and what are the kind of inputs you are giving to them first of all we are training them we have appointed uh, counsel student counselors from among the government colleges similarly we have requested the private colleges also to identify a lecturer who is uh, uh, more popular and um, interactive with the children so that he will, they will have more uh, access to him so that these uh, student counselors will be trained in the psychological concepts to help them uh, train their minds to face stress to face the exams to overcome uh, fears and to help them meditate to cope with the problems they are facing in life not just in exams but in life also so once these people are trained they will go and take care of these children to ensure that there is no stress among the children when they face the exam even otherwise class 11 12 perhaps very traumatic because they are going to go to college next last time round there was this criticism that there were a lot of technical issues which also added to the confusion and to the kind of angst that the students were facing there were a lot of uh, technical problems so as a first step we have uh, gone after them and we have prepared all the softwares uh, changed all the problem so that up to now there are no problems by that by this time last year there were a lot of problems now there are no problems and hopefully there will not be any problem till the exams and are the over. agency which is doing it obviously is no longer going to be handling your uh, material no it is going to be a center for good governance it will be operating our system okay thank you so much so uh, the board certainly taking the initiative to ensure that uh, this year remains uh, less uh, stressful for the students and they are also in fact uh, in a sense relooking at the question papers and also the syllabus to try and ensure that uh, students are able to cope uh, with the exam stress and also what follows in a better manner good morning i am amnala srinivas principal of agorikrupa junior college siddipet this kind of a counseling session why was it required we did see huge numbers of students unprecedented number actually taking their own life last yeah. year uh, this is really necessary this is the need of the uh, the government at last took up a initiation of uh, see conducting programs like this this kind of programs are really useful but what i feel from our side is uh, we need to have a, a complete uh, uh, program what actually the counselors when they go back to their colleges should do and uh, what exactly the problems that they are facing as the teachers as the principals we knew them very well but how to handle them if we have a good knowledge about psychology we can handle them very right the students so, actually come out and talk or do these counselors they are going to be proactively approaching the students no no it's not the case because because of the stigma people are not approaching uh, counselors or psychologists and moreover uh, this is an adolescent uh, people we are dealing with adolescent they have lot of uh, see, say st uh, age of stress and the strain they don't know how to approach they don't even come out of uh, telling their own serious problems not even the simplest problem that is the reason why see the teachers must be proactive in uh, dealing with the students so if the student have that kind of knowledge certainly he can identify which student is suffering a lot and what is the problem with them he can proactively participate and can bring them into their own arena and so that they can give better help to them this is perhaps the first time that the government is initiating something yeah, like yeah yeah this is the first time because if you look at the central arena the national wide there are only 3000 counselors are available in the market how can these 3000 of counselors can deal with the common people 
almost uh, one out of five is suffering from some kind of mental disorder. So if you look at 130 crores population, what could be the number of people are suffering from mental health issues and what number of people are available in there. So and what is your assessment of the numbers of children, students, youngsters who may be under this kind of stress? Almost all studies have told that there is more than 17 to 18 percent of the students are facing severe psychological distress like anxiety or conduct problems, behavioral problems and now that has grown up. Actually, that figure won't survive. I think it means almost 40 percent of the children today are suffering from these kind of issues. Is it about academic stress? Is it about societal pressure? What is it? It's all together because uh, big, their family brought up is a, is a major concern. Ch children who are coming from poor backgrounds, they don't have enough space in their houses. So they live in uh, cramped houses. Moreover, their economic levels are low. And where student comes from such kind of background, has so much of uh, low self-esteem. That's why he may not venture out into the studies to show his own talent. That's the biggest problem. Several things are associated into it. Even the present day education system, which is giving more importance for cramming of the information than rather giving uh, the right kind of education. All these are issue we cannot find fault with somebody else. Neither with the parents nor with the schools or with somebody else. It's the whole system has to take a, a, a right initiative right now and proactively if they can participate do something then only the things will set right. And of course the children are the future of our nation. Yeah, basically yeah, intermediate uh, the teachers, uh, uh, they came straight from their colleges. They are not counselors. They are not like school teachers. School teachers, uh, they had orientation in B.A. Yeah, or uh, so now, that's what I'm requesting the secretary also to yes, sir. educate teachers uh, through these counselors, like uh, training of trainers, uh, trainers program, so that we can uh, support those teachers how to guide students, how to motivate students. Then the student teachers in turn can motivate students. A lot of uh, uh, we the parents put pressure on the students. You have to come first line, first time. You have to get IIT seat and all these things. When they cannot fulfill the desires of the institution and the parents, they make it as a failure. It all due to identity crisis, inferiority complex, and these things. They don't belong to life because they don't have affection in the house, proper affection, and too much expectation from the institutions. This leads to suicide. That's as simple as that. Only thing is we have to teach the lecturers. That we are conducting this class to the lecturers because we want the lecturers to tell the importance of life, the importance of affection, the expectations of the parents and all these things. Then they won't do all. They don't take the extreme step. I don't blame the corporate colleges. The corporate colleges says, join your child into my college. I will see that you will get a seat in IIT. If the parents believe that, the corporate college is going to rub them. They, they, because you yourself prepared for this and you are joining your child. The child wants to be an IIT and she wants to work hard. He is not capable of working hard. Then he commits suicide. I don't blame corporate college. When a capitalist economy, when the business is there, all the institutions will come and invest their money to... Do you need more regulation? It, it, you need more... Uh, the, the parents should uh, think whether the child is capable of studying IIT, capable of getting good marks. Realistic expectations. There are two brains, left brain and right brain. Right brain students are good in mathematics, management, and then right left brain students are good in medicine, law, literature. They are more memory oriented. These people are more intelligent oriented. If your child is mathematics oriented and you join him in medicine, he may not be good. These parents they don't believe all this. They want their child to be a doctor, even though his right left brain is not good. Then the problem comes. Basically, my life, my, I am a right brain oriented mathematician, but my father wanted me to become a doctor. So I failed. Failed means I did not get the 60 marks in my intermediate. Luckily, I came for BCom and I became a chartered accountant. That is my right brain. This is how the work goes. Is there a possibility of actually assessing scientifically what each child is? From 8th class to 10th class, if he is good in mathematics, how fast he can answer the questions, his memory power. Memory power is right brain, left brain. And then his, how 
quickly what is sin theta by cos theta into tan theta by tan square theta. Immediately he should calculate, then his right brain is excellent. What is phylum proto java porifera salient? This is left brain, memory. So you can assess that easily. And there are counselors in Hyderabad itself who can judge your child whether he is right brain oriented or left brain oriented. That's something you actually think can be a part of mandatory choosing when people are actually going to opting for different subjects. Uh, is it possible to make it part of protocol? You cannot legislate it. You cannot. Uh, the fundamental right of the child is to read whatever he wants. Many children are want to become astronauts. I don't know why this concept has come. Astronauts. There are no astronauts in the world nowadays. Nobody, no country is prepared to send them to. But still, this is all peer influence. You are influenced by peer group. Thank you. Don't open your eyes. Some students will open themselves. One looter and one patient and one other. You are very good students, right? Don't open your eyes till I say open, right? Uh, I am giving six instructions. Pull the paper into half. Paper in magic priority. I don't repeat. Make another fold, right? And there is a small piece of paper in the center. Majala chenna mukha jimpi kenda bade ende. Right? Mali again now unfold it. Padda vipad. There is a big piece of paper right side. Chimpi mukha kenda bade ende. Padda vipad. Right? Mali again fold it. There is a small paper in the left side. And finally make a small hole in the middle. Now open the paper and show to the audience. If any two papers are alike, I give them 50 acres land near Hyderabad airport. See, same teacher, instructions to three students, they behave in a different way. Then, I'm a big parent. Prapurna, Anuradha, Renu. Renu is correct, Anuradha is correct, Prapurna is correct. Who is best? I'm not going to go. 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 ఎవరు you are taking a very serious view of the suicide deaths that are happening and Telangana has had a history of high numbers of student suicides. Yeah, we have taken the issue very seriously and a number of uh, reforms have been initiated since then. So one such reform is uh, in both government colleges and private colleges. Uh, we are identifying uh, one counsellor, either principal or the nominee of the principal who has expertise and aptitude for counselling from each college. And at state government level, for both government and private colleges, we are training them. And the series of trainings we will impart to them, number one. And number two, this counselling, once they go to their respective colleges, uh, these counsellors will uh, uh, undertake counselling for the students there. And also each student uh, will have a mentor. So we are devising certain uh, steps, uh, though basically to celebrate the failure also, to learn from the failure. Uh, and uh, somebody wants to get 100, they may get 99, they think it is a failure. Somebody wants to get 90, they may get 89, that is also a failure. Some people fail uh, for various reasons. So failure, 100% uh, efforts they have to make uh, during the uh, uh, normal academic uh, tenure. And uh, results, uh, they should not be worried. So this is the thing. Um, you know, Telangana has been one of those states that also gives uh, fantastic results as far as competitive exams go but the stress and the kind of a culture that has uh, crept into the private colleges that's something that the government had been looking to regulate uh, you know the last year we saw many corporate colleges you were telling them the timings is that also something that you're looking at about how schedules can be kind of revised to make it less stressful yeah in fact uh, stress moderate stress is possible and required also we are preparing them to face the stress rather than to reduce the stress to zero we cannot say what sort of condition will induce what sort of stress in the people so stress management and uh, then encountering the stress is very important points
there were also some technical problems last time uh, when the inquiry came about also the government had admitted to them mm. what are you doing about them what is the state of that inquiry no actually the three man committee whatever has submitted see the short term medium term long term all the recommendations have been accepted and uh, we are taking corrective measures thank you so much thank you. so the government certainly taking this on priority to try and ensure that there is minimum uh, kind of a uh, distress among the students causing and uh, provoking them to take their own life in hyderabad with camera person nagraju umasudhir in